are you today? It is so good to see you. Now, a lot of us here on this channel, we love photography, we love filmmaking, we love images. But you know, there's something else that we love that I'm not sure we've ever really talked about that much. And that is, we also love music. Now, music has always been a massive part of my photographic life. My happy place is when I'm out with my cameras, out on the streets, it might be foggy, it might be rainy, I've got my headphones on, I'm listening to my favorite tunes, and I am just in my own little movie at that point in time. Back from the days with the original Sony Walkman, which I've probably got hidden in my warehouse somewhere, from the Sony Walkmans to the, uh, the compact disc players, from compact disc players to actually an MP3 player that came out before the original iPod, which I took with me to Paris in 2001. It was a great little machine. Uh, six months later, Apple came out with the iPod, and of course, we all know the rest from that point on. So music is a ridiculously important part of my creative process. And that's why I think it's relevant to this channel, and it's relevant to all of us, because it's actually, it's part of the glue, it's part of the stimulus, it's part of the joy. And of course, moving pictures often, film often comes with a soundtrack. And a lot of the time we don't really realize that we're loving that soundtrack and listening to that soundtrack. And so in the end, we all end up having a soundtrack to our lives. And it's so important. There's songs. We would all have our top 50 songs. There's been a song or three each year that meant something important in an important moment. And music and audio quality continues to be something that's deeply important to me. So where am I getting to? Well, you've seen the title of this film. You may or may know what it's about because that word doesn't make any sense to you. But today I want to unbox and have a very quick look at what Ikea are doing and why specifically Ikea is because they are bringing high quality audio to the masses, making it easy, using AirPlay and all the other various standards that Google use and Android use. They're making it easy and they're making it affordable and they have partnered with Sonos. Now, of course, Sonos are a very well-known audio company. They've been working in this space of wireless audio and connecting now with all of the different music services uh, for years. So they're great. Everybody knows how great they are. They're up there with Bose and Bang and & Olufsen and, and so on. I hope I said that correctly. Might depend on what region you're in uh, as to the metric conversion. So a great company has paired with another great company that likes to bring things to the masses at affordable prices. So today, let's have a quick look at IKEA's Let's see if I don't mangle this. So this is the symphonisk. And of course, that's derived from the word symphony. Music. Great. Off to a good start. And another great IKEA word. The symphonisk. Symphonisks. Oh God. Symphonisk. Now it comes in two colors. It comes in black, as you can see on that shelf over there. Okay, so let's get this open. We've got our little cutting thing here. Ah, cute, very cute. That is just packaging, but that's keeping the symphonisk safe. <gasps> we have, now this is interesting, because it's a, a wireless device, but they've given you an ethernet cable. Maybe homes in uh, Northern Europe are, are very highly cabled and there's ethernet everywhere. So if your speaker's on a shelf, you can still run your music when the Wi-Fi's down not going to work here in my house anyway. Well, this is nice. So power cable. But what I've noticed, um, I don't know if you know, and I wanted to talk about this, IKEA have moved into USB-C and, and uh, Apple Lightning and so on connectors, and they're all in these beautiful cloth cables, and they're very high quality. I thoroughly recommend. I'll show you at the end of the video. They're good. This is a cloth covered power cable. It's just just standard fig eight style. It's L-shaped, which means you can go hard up against the wall with it. So power, ethernet, if your Wi-Fi is down. Of course, instructions, which here are talking about Google Play and uh, Apple Store, because you've got to go through the Sonos eco ecosystem to these things. And what we all came for 
is the little guy itself. Now, something that's been continuing to, to blow me away in regards to audio, it gets smaller and smaller, but still sounds amazing. Recyclable. We've got feet on the bottom here for going this way, and we've got feet on the bottom here for going this way. Fabulous. We'll just get that out of the way. Don't need that anymore. So there it is. Love it. On the back, all we have is Ethernet and the power. We have volume down, volume up, and play and pause. I think that's it. The rest you can do through all the other ways. Now something I always love to have a bit of a look at is we can actually pull this off and have a look at the actual drivers. We've got a tweeter and a mid, tweeter being small and a mid. Obviously there's not a big woofer, but this is a small box. Now, I had a good listen to this in the store yesterday when I picked it up, and it sounded great. Considering, in this country, $149. In the US, $99. So I think it's extremely affordable. Okay, so that's it. Now, the next step would be to plug it in. That's gonna take a little bit longer. Oh, and I just wanted to point out here, we can clearly see that this is Sonos and Ikea and Sonos partnership. Now, one of the things that's a little bit complicated when making a video like this and talking about audio is that one can never really do justice to the sound of audio by playing audio and capturing it with a microphone and then saying, oh, this is better than that. So I'm not gonna do that, but what I am gonna do is plug it in and listen to it with music that I know in an environment I know, and I'll tell you what I think relative to its price. Further to that, I own two of the Apple HomePods, and I know what they sound like, and they are, I think, $550 in this country, so $400 more expensive, literally almost, almost four times the price. And I don't think they're gonna be four times as good. I think they're going to be like, uh, you know, if this is our scale, here's the Sonos, and the HomePod might be just that little bit better. That's, that's my guess. Plus, I like this form factor for sticking it on the shelf. And the reason I got it for this room is I, this is where I uh, work some of the time, and I want to be able to have audio behind me, M music. I have music when I work, not just when I photograph. This will be perfect, perfect a little speaker sitting on the shelf. I'll come back and plug it in, and I'll tell you what I think. Okay, well, uh, the process was done. It quickly connected to my Apple Music account. It was all pretty seamless. It took about five minutes, I suppose. There's actually an app where you, you walk around the room and there's uh, the speaker and the phone, listen to each other and work out the optimal performance for your space. And the instructions say, as you can see here, that uh, if you move the speaker, you can run that process again. I played some of my music. I think it sounds really good. It's probably not quite as good as the Apple HomePod, but just almost a quarter of the cost. And I would say it is 70, 70 to 80% of the way there audio wise. Like for this room here, it's absolutely perfect. And you know, you don't need the very best audio in every single space that you're in all the time. You know, you can have your audio hi-fi surround 7.1 channel besting in the world but for casual listening while you're working more kind of background music man this is perfect i think it's great i'm going to be using it a lot so yeah very happy with how it sounds as i said before we go i just wanted to quickly talk about the ikea cables which i only discovered a month or so ago and i'm very happy with them i think i have a bit of a cable fetish i know that sounds weird I just like to have exactly the right cable for the job that, I'm, that I need and I'm doing. I think these are my favorites to date. Now, I am not a cable professional, but what I am is a user of cables for 35 odd years. I use them a lot. I'm probably plugging in 10 or 20 things every single day. I need them to work, I need them to be reliable, I need to make sure they're gonna fit right. I want them to feel good. Ergonomics are important, even with the cable and I need to know that they're good quality. Here's an example of uh, a USB-C to standard USB. So this is becoming a very common cable for cameras, charging, 
DJI products, everything is going USB-C, absolutely everything. And these are great cables. What I love about them is they're, they're covered in cloth, so they, they feel great and that just, it makes it more tactile and it's probably more environmentally friendly. I think the fixtures and the fittings, like the actual quality of the, the, the end product is great. They make them in good lengths. This is one and a half meters and they're cheap. This is like under $10, whereas, I don't know, crappy cables can be that expensive. Also, they come in multiple colors, so you can kind of color code your cables. You can get all the different types. I think there's three different colors that you can get. Here's two of them. Here is a USB to USB micro. Like I said, they do the Apple Lightning, which is a bit more expensive because they have to pay for that the usage from Apple. And finally, here's one that's um, I unwrapped earlier. Yeah, they just feel good. The quality looks good, and they're just very affordably priced. Oh, the other thing I like about it is, is they come with a built-in elastic so that you can just quickly coil up your cables. Sorry, this might not be exactly uh, standard, industry standard style, but that's built in, it's there, and it's coiled, it's soft, it feels good. And you wouldn't mind this snaking out of your camera bag connecting into your camera while you're walking around just because it's cloth. And some other cables just don't feel very nice. So anyway, that's Ikea cables. If you've got an Ikea near you and you need some cables, they're cheap, they're good quality. I mean, it's hard to get a cable wrong. I've only been testing them for a month, but yeah, I'd say these are my favorite cables to date. And they're also the cheapest that I've found. And they will be even cheaper if you're in you know, Europe or North America. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and for being here today. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked the little dive into the IKEA Sonos speakers, a really affordable way to get music into your life. All you need is power and Wi-Fi, and then you can have an amazing experience for a very affordable price. My amplifier just died, so our sound system that goes outside isn't working. This could be a great option, as long as I don't put it in the sun and as long as I keep it out of the rain, which I can, because we have a veranda. So yeah, good on you. Oh, and there's also another version. It's more like the HomePod and it has a light on top of it. The sound on this one is supposed to be marginally better. It is $110 more in this country. So it's not quite twice the price, but close to it. I thought I'd just try and see what the entry level unit's like. And like I said, I listened to it in the store. I actually listened to the two of them side by side. And the difference between them, from my perspective, was pretty minimal. Anyway, two great things you can do there. Of course, uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been so good to see you. Uh, if this is your first time here and you like what you see, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again. Please like, because that gets the word out there. Please share, because that makes us all smarter. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you like the idea of really affordable, high quality USB cables. I do, and you can never have enough. Often you need them and you don't have them. So now you know you can get them from Ikea. And what does music mean to you? Tell me, I'd love to know how does music fit in your life, your photographic life, your filmmaking life, just your life in general. Music is critical to me. It's an absolute driver and inspiration and it keeps me going all the time. So yeah, love my music, which is why people often talk to me, why do you even bother to put music on your YouTubes? Because uh, this is all just technical stuff. It's not quite the way I see it. I see it as, uh, as a film and you can set the tenor, you can set the emotion, you can create a bit more excitement with a flurry of music etc etc so it's an opportunity for me to share a little bit more of myself through the music that i choose to select and music continues to be very important for me and i don't think you'll ever have a musicless piece well we might have the odd one here and there but uh, in general i love music all right everyone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye thanks everybody for joining me today and today i want to talk about something that's very important to me music and i wanted to talk about this 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 here this here is something from my childhood i think this track probably came out in 1985 let's have a look yes yes it came out in 1985 from this show here miami vice and jan hammer came up with this timeless track which of course i can't play because i'll get a copyright strike but it went something like this i hope i don't put you all off
music. I'm talking about music, but not this one. Not this one. This. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so good to see you today. I've really enjoyed it. I love talking about something different. I mean, we're always talking about cameras all the time, so it's nice to talk about something different. As I said, sound and music are so important to me in my life. They give me so much joy and uh, excitement and enthusiasm, and it really is the soundtrack to my life. Every pun, and also equally no pun intended at the same time.